hello guys welcome back to another video today we are going to take a look at blue f91 5g as you can see this is a 5g phone it's the first 5g phone from blue and it comes with some cool specifications but i must say that this phone will cost you around 230 us dollars and at that price point this will be a great phone now let me unbox the phone real quick Okay, so let's see what's inside of the box built for speed we have the phone itself and basically like we have on all blue smartphones this is the g90 pro this is the g91 pro and as you can see from the thickness of the box blue provides one-stop shopping so inside of the box different from other brands we see that blue provides a charger in the box some earphones charging cable sim ejection tool sticker the usual paperwork a rugged case and as you can see here we also have a cleaning cloth and the glass screen protector Okay, so now I must say that basically all of the other known brands like Samsung, iPhone has removed basically everything from the box, leaving just the charging cable. But Blue on the other hand, it gives you everything. Now you will say that this is a budget phone and on budget phone, different brands will provide you with a charger. In that case, no, because you have the new A13 5G, which doesn't have a charger in the box let alone all of the other stuff okay so now let's take a look at the phone itself as we can see we have a quad camera setup here on the back we have the fingerprint which also serves as a power button here on the side of the phone on the top we have the microphone here we have the volume buttons. Okay, let me just show you the SIM tray. Okay, so this is the SIM tray. And as you can see, we can expand the storage on this phone. Or if we don't choose to go with expandable storage, we can use this SIM slot for dual SIM cards. So as you can see, we have blazing 5G speed mobile connectivity, 8 gigabytes of RAM, 128 gigabytes of storage. Let me read you the other specifications. We have a 6.8 full HD display. We have a MediaTek Dimensity 810 processor, octa-core 2.4 gigahertz, we have a 48 megapixel, which is the main camera. We have a 5 megapixel wide angle camera, a macro lens, and the capability to shoot 108 megapixel photo. We have a 16 megapixel selfie camera. We have a 5000 milliampere of battery. Now, I did not expect this because at 230 US dollars, I mean, the price is very good, and I did not expect wireless charging. And this phone supports wireless charging up to 10 watts. Also inside of the box we have this power brick which is 18 watt, we have NFC and we have expendable storage up to 256 GB with the SD card slot and the phone starts its life at Android 11. Okay so let's take a look now. Let's turn on the phone. Okay, let me just skip through this menu real quick. Okay, so we are on the menu now. As it said here, build for speed. I must say that this is very accurate because this phone feels very fast. Let's go to settings, check for a software update. Okay, so we don't have any new update now but let's take a look around the phone we have the toggles here okay so as i said in one of my previous videos we can determine how fast the phone is just by 
go in at the toggles and entering dark mode on the phone. You will see that most of the phones will lag at this part, but not in this case. Very fast. Now let's go to settings, take a look around here. We have VPN, private DNS, we have NFC, navigation bar. Let me just go to gesture navigations, security, screen lock. Confirm. Okay, so let me just set up the fingerprint and the face ID on this phone and see how fast that is. Okay, so now I've registered my face ID and my fingerprint on this phone. If you think that the fingerprint on your phone is slow, you can always add more than one finger, but I will only do this test with one finger. Okay, so I must say that the fingerprint is very fast. Actually, it's faster than the phone lock screen. It's fast. Also, while I was adding my fingerprint here, I noticed that the buttons, the button placement of this phone is one of the best in the market because we have the volume buttons here and the power button here, also the fingerprint sensor. And I must say that they are very easy to reach and not difficult at all. If Even if we use the phone with the right hand, we always can control the volume here. Even if we use the phone with the left hand, very easy control on the buttons. Okay, so now let's open a YouTube video, test the viewing angles on this phone and the speaker. Unfortunately, we don't have stereo speakers, we only have one bottom firing speaker, but that bottom firing speaker is very loud. Okay, so now let's open a video and test the viewing angles. This is an 8K video that I shot with S22 Ultra. Let's see the maximum resolution. It goes up to 2K. Okay, the phone is almost bezel-less. The viewing angles are very good. Even though this is an LCD display, the viewing angles are good. If we watch the video at maximum brightness, we won't have any difficulties on watching a YouTube video or a video in general. Now let's go to the camera. Let's go to video, video quality. And as you can see, we can record up to 2K. We have 1080p. 30 frames per second, we have 720p and 480. Here on photo, we can go from the wide angle camera and we can zoom up to four times. We have portrait and we have more. Here on more, we have night mode, pro mode, 108 megapixels. We have GIF, beauty, panorama, slow motion, time lapse, intelligent scanning, and macro. Now, I will not attach photo and video samples here, neither gaming, because I will do those in a separate video. So overall, first impressions of this phone are very good. This is a very fast phone, and I don't think that you will find a faster phone at this price point, to consider that this phone will be unlocked, it will work with all of the carriers, 
and it has 5G connectivity. As I already told you, in the box, one-stop shopping. So everything is great. Now, this is how the phone will look with the case. But before closing the video, let me just install the screen protector. This is a glass screen protector. So the first thing you need to do when installing a screen protector is that you need to clean the LCD display and we just need to use the dry cleaning cloth. Just be sure that you don't get any dust here. Just be sure to align the camera and go straight. Okay, so screen protector is now installed. I will be posting a lot of more videos with the blue F91 5G. I will see you on the next one.